So today we saw quite a bit of red in the markets, with the Nasdaq down quite a bit and the Dow and S&P also down. But one notable gainer today was a Detoss Medicine stock, or Edit, which has been surging lately. We're going to get into this today, but first, real quick, here are the numbers for the day. We've got a rise of 7.4 per share, 17.14 percent. EDIT currently trades at $50.58 per share. 52-week low is 14.88. 52-week high is 55.05. Short interest is around 18.5 percent. Market cap is around 3.1 billion, and volume today is 6.6 million. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos. So first of all, right now, in the past several months, we've been witnessing a pretty remarkable rally within biotech stocks, which have been, in my opinion, led by CRISPR stock. Some of the notable companies within this rally have been Invite, Intellio, Pacific Biosciences of California, and Twist Biosciences, and many other companies. And one of the most popular ETFs for biotech and gene-related companies has been the ARK Invest ARC-G ETF, which has been performing tremendously this year. And for an ETF, it's crazy how much it's grown. If you look at the portfolio, many of the companies are at or near 52-week highs. But the company we're talking about today, which I haven't mentioned, is Adidas Medicine, has actually been relatively flat for quite some time, as you can see from this chart here. Compared to the performance of other biotech that have rallied, it has underperformed. But in the last three days, this whole narrative has completely changed. The stock is up around 90% in just the past few days, nearly doubling its market cap. This has been pretty much entirely due to its annou announcement this weekend at the 62nd Annual Meeting and Exposition of the American Society of Hematology. That's a mouthful. Anyways, they released preclinical data and confirmed ability of large-scale development for EDIT 301 which is a potential treatment for sickle cell disease. And sickle cell disease, for a quick rundown, is a genetic disease that impacts the shape of blood cells, creating a sickle-like shape, hence the name sickle cell, which causes the blood cells to blockade and disrupt blood flow. There are around 100,000 people in the United States with sickle cell disease. Because it's a genetic disease, there is no long-term treatment. But recent medical advancements in the 21st century are almost certainly going to make curing this disease possible. This is facilitated primarily by the CRISPR tool, which actually won the Nobel Prize in Biology this year of 2020. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Palindromic Repeats. And the science behind that name is a little detailed, but it allows us to edit, remove, or replace DNA in an extremely precise way. Obviously, since DNA is key to our existence, the CRISPR tool gives us incredible control over our DNA, therefore over our existence and genetic makeup. To edit a disease, you need a nucleus, which is kind of like the cutting device, and a molecule called guide RNA to tell the nucleus where to go. The most common cutting tool or nucleus is called Cas9, but there is another tool Another nucleus Aditus Medicine uses called Cas12A or CPF1, which is more designed for genetic medicines because it gives more options for editing the DNA. Now, this treatment Aditus is working on called Edit301 uses the CRISPR technology, of course. Basically, they take hematopoietic stem cells and edit them using CRISPR technology to promote HBG1 and HBG2 promoters, which increases naturally occurring fetal hemoglobin, which protects against sickle cell disease. And they reported just this past weekend, the 5th and 6th, that the data indicates high levels of editing in the stem cells was achieved and led to a, quote, robust production of fetal hemoglobin. They also revealed their testing with mice was, in fact, successful. So this was extremely good and continues with the company's plans to begin their clinical trials with the treatment. And as expected, just after market closed today, they announced they submitted an application for the initiation of their phase one out of two clinical trials with a edit 301. So really news this weekend really provided the push the stock needed. And considering how low the prices were compared to the multiples of other biotech companies, People are clearly seeing it as a nice entry point as of earlier this week. 
That being said, CRISPR Therapeutics also has their own treatment, which similarly boosts the production of fetal hemoglobin. And they also presented at the conference this weekend and demonstrated a sustained response to the treatment with their phase one clinical trials. So yeah, it's really good. Editas Medicine is showing progress with their treatment. But know that there is competition here. Intelia also received a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to develop sickle cell disease treatment. So that's it for today. And with that said, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to catch you next time.